Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Next Gen, South Korea to host World Drone Racing Championship. Amazon launches drone delivery service. And cyber espionage and the B-21 Raider. And I'm your host, Holland Lee. Welcome to the Aero News Network's Airborne Next Gen Program, a weekly news program covering the next generation of flight, from electric power to vertical lift, uncrewed vehicles, and everything in between. Let's get into today's stories. South Korea to host World Drone Racing Championship. The Federation Aeronautique Internationale has announced its selection of South Korea as the host nation of the 2023 World Drone Racing Championship. The competition, the largest and richest of its kind, offers contestants a prize pool of a cool $100,000. After a three-year COVID hiatus, the tournament will see the world's best drone pilots pit their skills against one another in head-to-head -head competition. The races, which are slated to commence on October 6th and run through October 9th, 2023, will be held at the Chunhyanggol Stadium in the southwestern province of Jolabukdo, some two hours south of the South Korean capital city of Seoul. For purpose of ensuring top quality arrangements for competitors and spectators alike, the competition's organization will be jointly overseen by Korea Aero Models Association and the Federation of Korea Aeronautics, so states the FAI. In addition to the main drone racing competition, ancillary events will include the FAI drone soccer competition and a conference at which event attendees may better their exposure to and understanding of the vast and varied world of unmanned aerial vehicles known colloquially as drones. An array of cultural activities and music concerts are being planned as well. And after the break, Zero Avia obtains approval for hydrogen electric flight. Whether you're charting a steady course or pushing for the ceiling, Hartzell Propeller has been elevating flight for over 100 years. It's in our passion for engineering and research. It's in our dedication to testing the limits of performance and creating propellers that are as safe as they are sexy. Now, together with our dedicated family of companies, we're propelling the future of aviation. We are Hartzell Propeller, built on honor. Are you ready to ace your FAA drone pilot knowledge test, get your remote pilot certificate, and start earning money? Well, flying a drone is a great tool that can open up new business opportunities for anyone. Realtor, insurance adjuster, videographer, or commercial weekend drone warrior, you need to fly legally. Whether you're pursuing your initial Part 107 remote pilot certificate, or you need a renewal, King Schools has a course just for you. So start learning today at kingschools.com. Welcome back. And now for some shorter stories in our Next Gen Minute. Zero Avia obtains approval for hydrogen electric flight. The UK CAA has granted a permit for Zero Avia's hydrogen electric Dornier 228. The hybrid commuter aircraft will fly after a, quote, extensive ground testing campaign and a rigorous review of the full developmental program, end quote. With the approval, Zero Avia can now begin the first test flights of its 600 kilowatt hydrogen electric powertrain. The 19-seater twin-engine Dornier 228 has been fitted into a test bed to evaluate the hybrid engine on the left wing while retaining its OEM Honeywell TPE331 on the right. Rolls-Royce to begin testing Ultrafan platform in 2023. Rolls-Royce announced that it would begin testing its Ultrafan Aero engine demonstrator in early 2023, comprising a suite of bleeding-edge technologies conducive to enhanced fuel efficiency, lower emissions, greater sustainability, and lower operating costs. The Ultrafan, in addition to being the world's largest aircraft power plant, is among its greenest. Notwithstanding the environmental accountability evident in the Ultrafan's engineering, Rolls-Royce asserts the platform's constituent technologies are scalable to the creation of engines with thrust outputs ranging from 25,000 pounds to 110,000 pounds. Ukrainian Drone School Seeks Funding A Ukrainian NGO has educated more than 400 soldiers to operate UAVs throughout the last nine months, and now they're on the lookout for additional funding. Advanced Defense began UA Drone School to continue their goal of training Ukrainian troops on the use of drones in wartime. The group says they need $120,000 to keep the school open. The initial funding from founders Dmitry Mazarenko and George Nikolaev has been able to buy some time for the UA Drone School, but funding is running out. NASA's InSight retired. 
NASA's InSight has seen the end of its service after the lander remains unresponsive for two consecutive attempts. InSight controllers at the agency's Jet Propulsion Laboratory have slowly watched the lander's solar arrays gather layer after layer of thick Martian dust, choking off InSight's power supply. They suspect that its power banks are entirely depleted with little recourse to recharge. NASA had previously stated the termination criteria for InSight as two missed comms attempts, which have now come to pass since December 15th. And that's it for today's Next Gen Minute. Now back to the rest of the news. Amazon launches drone delivery service. As the larger world frantically occupied itself with holiday parties and last-minute Christmas shopping, citizens of Lockford, California and College Station, Texas, marveled as the advent of Prime Air, Amazon's much-anticipated drone delivery service, played out in the skies above their respective towns. Amazon's goal is to deliver packages massing five pounds or less in under an hour. While public statements and press releases regarding Prime Air have focused largely upon the safety and carbon neutrality of the unmanned delivery aircraft by which the platform is defined, Amazon's guiding concern has been and remains enticing both X10 and prospective customers to utilize the company's retail platform, the world's largest, by exploiting humankind's natural predilection for instant gratification. Amazon's assertive but equivocal allusions to its major investments in logistics have been broadly construed indications of the company's imminent shift from massive regional fulfillment centers to a network of smaller, more widely dispersed facilities. Upon the service's eventual, presumed widespread release, Primair will reconcile seamlessly with Amazon's ubiquitous online ordering system. At checkout, eligible customers will be offered, in addition to conventional shipping methods, a drone delivery option. Amazon states, quote, For these deliveries, the drone will fly to the designated delivery location, descend to the customer's backyard, and hover at a safe height. It will then safely release the package and rise back up to altitude, end quote. And after these messages, cyber espionage and the B-21 Raider. Throughout the globe, Piper Aircraft has hand-selected the very best in company representation, service, and support. From first inquiry to acquisition to product support, Piper Aircraft ownership is seamless and worry-free. Piper Aircraft authorized dealers, factory trained, factory connected. Skyleader Aircraft offers a lineup of the most powerful, durable, and efficient light sport aircraft in the industry. From trainers to roomy cockpits for long hauls, Skyleader has an aircraft for you. And the best part? They're in your budget. Skyleader's base prices are set low to give you room to customize your aircraft to your needs, desires, and wallet, allowing you to put your money where it matters to you most. Visit FlySkyleader.com today to learn about our aircraft, customization options, and chat with the team. Welcome back. Cyber Espionage and the B-21 Raider. Having made its December 2nd debut, the Air Force's new B-21 Raider stealth bomber has been safely returned to its California hangar. Its security, however, is a nebulous and subjective construct, ever vulnerable to the escalating ambitions and wiles of those intent upon taking by force or subterfuge that which they cannot achieve by innovation and industry. As the Raider and its keepers bask in the warm afterglow of the rollout, China's legions of high-tech cyber espionage brigands have taken to their keyboards for a purpose of penetrating the veil of secrecy surrounding the B-21. That Beijing's eyes are cast covetously upon the B-21 is therefore a moral certainty substantiated by ample historical precedent. To glean the secrets of the world's first sixth-generation aircraft would be a boon of incalculable tactical value to China's communist government, and answer tantalizing questions the likes of, can the B-21 operate in the absence of pilots? Throughout the bomber's development, aviation industry pundits have speculated that the B-21 is capable of autonomous flight. Neither the USAF nor Northrop Grumman has spoken to the subject of the Raiders' crewing predilections, though a bias toward unmanned aerial operations is perceptible in the Air Force's fiscal 2023 procurements and the predictions on which such were based. And that's our show for today. You can catch episodes of Airborne on YouTube, Roku, or Fire TV. Just search for Aero News or Airborne, and don't forget to follow us on social media. Thanks for watching!